continuing the mission to honor and empower the injured heroes of America. Wounded Warrior Project released its annual survey, gathering information about veterans and service members who were injured in the military on or after September 11th. Well, through the positive trends and the continuing challenges, there are soldiers around the country in need of and accepting a helping hand. It's, like I said, this is something that I've lived through, so I know it to be true because they've done it for me. Lisa Crutch met with me at Wounded Warrior Project headquarters in Jacksonville. This national powerhouse nonprofit may have saved her life following the injuries she suffered about a decade ago in Iraq. I didn't think anything was wrong with me. And there was a whole lot wrong with me. This Army sergeant says she was wounded in a collision during a mission, suffering a traumatic brain injury and other physical damage as well as post-traumatic stress disorder. Her homecoming came with a struggle many veterans face. I was more comfortable in Iraq with my gear, with my weapons, with my soldiers, doing my job. So of course, you know, when it was time to come home, I was ecstatic to see my family. Of course I wanted to come home, but not knowing when I got here, it didn't feel like home to me. Lisa's husband found out about Wounded Warrior Project and pestered her to attend a program. And that approach worked. Programs like the Odyssey work because the organization is conducting these surveys and making adjustments. And it's an opportunity for them to give us a voice. Um, they tell us about what's going on in their lives, what are their most pressing issues, and how can we be of service to them. Um, so we have information related to their demographics, their military experience, and more importantly to how they're doing mentally, physically, and financially. Melanie Masso from Wounded Warrior Project says the information leads to better service, and Lisa Crutch says that's really what it's all about. The things that they've done for me so far will sustain me for the rest of my life. So among the results of the annual Warrior Survey, the unemployment rate improved by 40% in the past four years, and 60% of Warriors own a home now, an increase over 2014. The challenges include a slight increase in warriors living with symptoms of PTSD, and more than half the warriors are considered.